For decades, the dream was simple, personal flight. Skip the traffic, own the sky. We saw it in movies, jetpacks, flying cars, but that future felt a million miles away. Here's the surprise, the technology now exists. We're a quarter of the way into the 21st century, and a quiet revolution has been happening. It's called the EVTOL era, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The innovation is happening on two fronts. The ultralight pioneers, innovators like Hunter Cowell's Sky Surfer, a rotor-powered flying skateboard, is a viral sensation. It can carry 500 pounds for 20 minutes at 40 mintiwa panj. These small, DIY-inspired machines are pushing the limits of ultralight flight. The high-power thrill, companies like Gravity. Industries have built a real-life Iron Man jetpack, while the Volanort air bike promises 124 mf through the air. These are incredible feats of engineering, but their reliance on jet fuel makes them less likely to be your daily commuter. The real game changer is the air taxi. Companies like Archer Aviation and Joby Aviation are building multi-passenger Eve Tolls. Archer's Midnight model can carry four passengers, plus a pilot at up to 150 mef, perfect for short city commutes. Joby is aiming for longer hydrogen-powered journeys, with one test flight recently covering 523 miles. Why not just use helicopters? Evtols are engineered to be quieter, cheaper, and cleaner. They replace one large, noisy mechanical engine with multiple electric motors, giving them better safety redundancy and eliminating combustion emissions. But we're not flying to work tomorrow. There are two major hurdles, batteries and regulation. The battery problem. As aircraft grow, so does the weight of the required battery, creating a vicious cycle that reduces flight efficiency. Manufacturers are betting on next-gen battery tech, which is already showing promise. With over 800 kilometers per charge in the automotive sector, the final frontier, regulation, aviation laws are struggling to keep up. Large companies like Joby are deep into the multi-year FAA certification process. But smaller ultralight vehicles like the Sky Surfer? They may be legal to fly for recreation right now in the US with proper training. The personal flight revolution is no longer a fantasy. The investment is flowing, the prototypes are flying, and the skies are opening up. A future where air taxi soar over traffic is coming. But the sight of a personal hoverboard or a jetpack buzzing across the skyline? That is much, much closer than you think.